everyone, Thursday, February 9th, 2017, and like I said in a video last night, I was going to do a new comic book video for the things I picked up this week, and so here it is from the shop, Arkham Comics and Collectibles in Las Vegas, and I didn't, it wasn't a real big week, so we'll jump right into what I do have, and then I have another book to show everybody, and then a small rant, which I know everybody loves. So, Flash, Rebirth 16. Justice League of America, number one rebirth. The funny thing about this is this is actually zero. Apparently I was told it was mismarked as a one. It's actually zero. The Busima variants. This is Submariner. Uh, well, actually, Inhumans versus X-Men with Submariner on the cover, number four. Hard to find these in high grade because of the black border. And a lot of places I heard didn't really carry them, so uh, that's kind of weird. And here's another one. Uh, this week, Guardians of the Galaxy, number 17. And again, these are, I think, going to be kind of limited because a lot of shops didn't even carry them. They did. It was one or two. It's a nice-looking book if you can find them in good grades and just nice for a collection. Suicide Squad 11. I am not feeling that Harley Quinn. She looks real chubby right there. Kind of gets away from the Harley Quinn look. I don't know how they drew it, but not feeling that. Uh, special Edition of, let me get the other one here, Batman Detective Comics is the Oversized Anniversary Edition 950. This was cover one. Again, sorry for the glare with the lights and the, the bags and boards. This was another cover. Now this kind of had a Kylo Ren feel for it. The way the mask is, the way the sword is. So Batman Detective 950 with a Kylo Ren kind of look to it. Deathstroke number 12. Scooby Apocalypse, number 10. Still enjoying that book. I'm really liking it. Wonder Woman 16. Justice League Power Rangers, number 2. Kingpin, number 1. And of course, Dan Mendoza's latest, which is Dollface. This is cover number 1 of number 2. And the main cover, the cover that I liked with her holding the knife, number two. So that's what I picked up on these books right here. Not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of books uh, coming in. So that is uh, a very small pickup that week. So uh, of course we all know the Wolverine movie, Logan is coming out and it has of course uh, X-23. And I was going through some boxes, looking at stuff, just getting the stuff ready for when I do finally make my move into my new spot. And I found this second print variant of that book which is, has both of them together, I hope you can see it. And it is a very difficult book to find. This is a very hard book to find. This is in really nice condition, and I know I have no problem selling that book. So, uh, again, small week. So, I had a customer come in the other day, and he was in with a group of people, and they were talking about books and raw books, and he was like, yeah, I've been great. I've been collecting for a long time, and I've only ever collected graded books. It's all I collect. I won't collect anything else, and if you're not collecting graded books, you're doing it wrong. Well, that is your opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. Uh, unfortunately, I feel just the opposite. If you're not doing raw books, you're doing it wrong because collections and comic books should be collected for the love of the hobby. We are going through a very dangerous path right now as it relates to graded books. I'm not going to jump into that. You've seen my graded videos as I, as I feel about CGC and the grading companies. Uh, baseball cards did this. I was real big on baseball cards, late 80s, early 90s, doing shows, made good money doing that. And the grading companies caught into it and destroyed the baseball card industry. You don't believe me? Go to shows and look at the mountains and mountains of graded cards you can get. The thing that hurts the industry is when people buy these new books, like a Scooby Apocalypse number 10, not that anybody's gonna do this, and they send it in to get graded, and then they throw a little hissy fit and act like a baby when their book comes back a 9496. Well, if you don't believe me, you can go online and you can see all of these unboxings. And there's a couple guys that did PGX unboxings, and they're showing these books, and they get them out of the box, and they're like, oh my god, a 96, I can't believe it. You know, there's no value in that book at a 96. You mean there's no value in the book at a 96? The price guy goes up to a 92. And here is where we have the issue. People 
demand a high-grade book. And that's good. You want to spend your money, you want a high-grade book. But people are grading the absolute garbage. One guy unboxed 30 books from grading, and it was all Valiant stuff from the, from the 90s. Why, why are you going to grade Valiant? There's really nothing of value in Valiant. A couple books here and there, but the stuff he was grading was, you know, nothing. He was like, oh, I got a 9.8 on this book, and, you know, I'm going to get $75 for it. The book in the price guide is a buck, and because you got a 9.8 for it, you think you're going to get $75, and therein lies the problem. I've said this a thousand times, and I will continue to say this. When the market dries up, and people are not making the ridiculous amounts of money for graded books that they are now, the true collector is going to be the one who wins. You've seen my back wall. I have books on the walls. I have good books in the cases. All raw. I do have some graded books. Okay, I didn't send them in to get graded. I have never sent a book in to get graded. I have no interest in doing that. Okay, because I can grade just as good as they can grade, with the exception of they put it in a, in a, in a holder. So, until this industry wakes up and understands that, you know, uh, grading is really starting to hurt where we are going. I know some people are probably tired of me talking about grading, but the bottom line is it's true because I've been down this path before with the baseball cards. I called it then when it started happening with PSA and then BGS started doing, a, you know, uh, Beckett grading started coming in and you see it now with CGC, PGX, CVCS. The grades are not, the grading is not strong. Guys are spending, you know, a guy did a video saying I got two books graded. Uh, and I did the speedy, you know, the speedy delivery, and I paid, you know, $189 to get two books graded. And he got like a 7.5 and a 9 on his books. Why do that? Uh, Green Lantern number one, Golden Age, early Wonder Woman's, high key issues, you know, early Batman's, uh, super, super high keys, you know, Incredible Hulk 181, World by Night 32. You want to get that stuff graded to protect it? Okay. I can buy that aspect of it. I understand that. I have a, a $10,000 book. I want to put it in a holder that if it falls, it is not going to hurt the book. I get that. I don't have an issue with that. I have an issue with people grading this and then asking $45, $50, $60 dollars for it. And the people are actually paying that money. Because you know what's going to happen five years from now? And you can look at this video five years from now. Five years from now, all those common books, these books that everybody's spending huge money on are going to go by the wayside, out the window. It's going to revert back to the way it was from the beginning. True fans, true collectors, enjoying the books, holding the book, smelling the book, feeling the book, remembering where they were when they first bought that book. It's just like the Comic-Con. You, you shouldn't even call it a Comic-Con anymore because it's not a Comic-Con. It's a pop culture, movie, TV show, toy con. And cosplay, which is fine, it's a good time. Don't call it a Comic Con anymore, because it's not a Comic Con. There are very few Comic Cons around. When you called it Comic Con in the 70s and 80s, you know what it was? It was comic books. It was all comic books. People dressed up as their favorite characters still, before it was cosplay, before it became a big thing. It was comic book collectors getting together to geek out and talk about their favorite characters and who's better, Wolverine, Hulk, Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, the X-Men, the Avengers, the Defenders, whatever it was. That's what it was about. And we're losing sight of that. So you'll see that you'll see it going down the road. Okay? So again, kind of a rant, kind of all over the place. It just irritates me when I when I hear people say that because it takes away from why I do this. I do this because I enjoy doing it. It's not a, such a much a money maker. Just I like being involved in this and talking to people. And when people come in here and all they talk about is money, 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 it puts a real damper on what I'm doing. And it's just kind of a slap in the face because you're not doing it for the love. You're looking for a fast buck. That's okay. That's your gig. But don't call yourself a collector. So again, X23 second print if you can find it. I'm sorry about the glare. 
I will do another tour. I didn't get a lot of uh, views on my last movie video, so um, if you want something like that, let me know. If not, I will just stick to what works, comic books and my rants. So I hope you liked the video, but if you didn't, as always, nothing I can do for you. Have a great night from Arkham Comics and Collectibles.